Hi everyone, it's Fanola Howard and this is at Make It Bite Sized, as you know, but this is Ask Fanola How. And this week's episode, because we're just hit the 1st of June today, so that means that we've just entered the last month of this quarter, which is quarter two. And one of the things that uh, I've been asked this week is, you know, people and entrepreneurs often get into this state of being um, feeling bad that they haven't done everything that they wanted to do for this quarter and should they just stop now and just focus on the next quarter because surely you can't achieve anything in this quarter. But of course you can, of course you can. You've got one full month left in this quarter and we need to make every quarter count. You know, we can go down to the basics of making every minute count, every moment count and all that. And yeah, there's a truth in that, but there's also no space to rest too. So let's focus on this quarter, okay? And in this quarter, here's the question. How can I maximize the last month of this quarter? And I do get that whole sense from several people that it's like, I should have, I had planned on having this done so that when I move into September, I'll be ready to launch my X, Y, and Z. And I thought I'd have this done and then just time got away because The reflection at this point in this quarter is often a reflection on how you feel for the whole year because we've just hit the halfway point. So this last month of this first half of this year can often seem a little bit intimidating, okay? Because you feel like it's not where I want it to be, okay? It is what it is. That's what I would say to you. What we have to do is make sure that we create a process by which you are planning and implementing regularly, consistently, with care. And with care, I mean by with care for yourself so that you get to live your life and you get to build an amazing business that helps you achieve your purpose here, okay? So the first thing I say to you is this. Celebrate the wins that you've had. And you hear me say that all of the time and you hear lots of people say that because we're always focused on the mental state. And if we don't have the right mental state, we can't climb the higher mountain. We can't move to the next stage of the business. So celebrate, write it down, tell somebody, put it on Facebook, put it on Twitter, put it on Instagram, wherever, celebrate it. And you know, so many people will want to celebrate with you. Do that, okay? The next thing I want to say to you is, depending on where your goal setting was, do you quarterly goal set, do you quarterly plan? And I really advocate you strongly, you quarterly plan, and you've heard me say this before, it is always much more manageable to create a 90-day world, okay? These are things that are within our power to influence, to leverage, and to remain focused with. So have you set the goals that you set for yourself, were they quarterly goals or were they what you, where you thought you'd be at this point and the halfway point in your year, Okay. Write down what you expected or look at your notes from your quarterly plan that perhaps you did with me last quarter and sit down and say, OK, what did I what can I celebrate here and what did I miss the mark on? Did I kind of set it too high for myself or what happened here? The big question is, ask why. This is not a stick to beat you with. This is simply to get better at planning what's achievable and to also give yourself a break when something doesn't quite work so that you can figure out what went wrong. So we learn, we always want to learn. Okay, ask why. Is the why because you aimed to, you you expected yourself to get so much more done? Was it an, an unrealistic target or did something happen that affected the outcome? And this is normal. Obviously things are going to happen that affect the outcome, but acknowledge it so that you're not beating yourself up. Okay, so what is the learning here? If, if, and actually maybe in fact, the challenge that you have now is you did everything and you actually underestimated what you could achieve in a month or in a quarter. So I'm like, celebrate that. And if you have underestimated, this is not the time to rest, unless you really need a rest, but this is not the time for the rest. This is the time to prepare for the next quarter. So we take a moment, right? Whatever the reasons, you are starting on the 1st of June here with uh, an opportunity to frame the rest of this quarter. And so what I would say to you is, and I say this in all my quarterly planning sessions, which is what is the thing that will make the difference to your business that you could invest in right now, your time, whatever it is, as in a goal that you could 
take off or that would move your business? What is the thing that would make a difference? Is it a course that you want to write and maybe you can dedicate four weeks to writing that course? Is it setting up your podcast? Is it having launching your new website? Is it creating a process that makes your business run smoother? Is it negotiating a deal with somebody? What is the thing that would make a difference to your business that would move you to the next level? What is that thing? Write it down. Because if it's the first stage is to know what will act as a lever in the business. And what we're wanting is to always to move, move higher, at a higher level, at a higher level, at a higher level in the business. And when you stop doing that, you'll just get caught up in operational stuff. So we don't want an operational answer to this. We want something that will change the nature of your business. And it must either broaden your market, broaden your offering, fine tune an offering so that it actually means that you can sell more of it or more effectively. What is the thing that will make a difference? Maybe it's a test run on something. So write that down. Even if you don't think it's quite possible, write that down. Then take a moment, okay? Once you've had that settled in and it should kind of feel a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit of a stretch. And then the next thing that I want you to do is I want you, if it's easy and it's ring fenceable that you can achieve that in one month, great. But pay attention here because writing down just what the goal is, is not enough. We need to know what does, what will it take to make that happen? Can you break that down into four things as in the four weeks of this month? Can you break down what you need to accomplish in each of these four weeks so that you can make that happen? Stay on track here now because the better and more focused you are in your planning and in envisioning what it will take to move your business forward, the more, more uh, experience that you have in doing it builds a mastery for your business and about a mastery of growth in your business. So we want to become very used to regularly and consistently planning and delivering on plans effectively all the time and then switching it up again, okay? So take a moment and say, this big thing that I could accomplish perhaps in a month, maybe I need to make it a little bit smaller, but the overall goal may be something that is, maybe it was a goal for next quarter. Let's see what that looks like. Then break it down into four weeks, break it down into actions and create a space in your diary. So maybe it's a time in your diary where it can be in the morning before you start client work or doing of working on something a space every day that you work on this goal that will make a difference to your business. Create that space. You need that space and you need to do that space consistently to move the business forward. Okay. Um, and that's, yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Make sure that you remember a lot can be achieved in a month. Don't beat yourself up. If you haven't achieved your goals, you're simply flexing that muscle. So you get more practice about planning, mastery about your planning. And if you'd like to learn more about mastery around your planning and achieving the goals that you set for yourself, join me tomorrow night. You can see a link in, the bio, in my bio, which is six o'clock tomorrow evening. We're going to set the goals for next quarter. But first, we're going to actually tackle what happened so far this quarter to make sure that we learn from it and we make sure that we have the best month ever this month so that you are all set to go for a fantabulous quarter three. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. This has been Finola Howard for Ask Finola How, and that was episode 43. Take care.